Right, back to the te tapirs, tapirs. I'm not going to do well in this episode just by avoiding saying the name of the animal <laughs> that we're putting in. Right, flattens foundation. Have this across. This is definitely big enough. This is massive. Um, so we're going to put in null barriers along here. Basically, this is going to be the outline of the uh, habitat. Make it slightly shorter. Okay, now I'm going to move it back up. All we want to do is make sure it's between the animals and the guests. Like that. And again, um, I'm just going to put in a few rocks. I'm going to turn off all of this. I'm just going to put a uh, tropical on there because we know it's the we know it's the tropical rocks that we want with these. Uh, put the nice big rocks in. We love our big rocks. Team rocks, am I right? Team rocks. Again, I'm going to use this nice one. Where has it gone? The uh, this one. I love this. I just it's such a beautiful rock. Okay. It's not a normal thing to be excited about rocks, I know. Oh, we don't even need to build over the top. It's just for the sides. So this is great. Um, that's the one thing I don't like having to do actually normally is building over the top of the door. Because of this beautiful little small entrance here, we're fine. Just going to carry on with the old rocks. Carry on placing them across here. As long as it's nice and contained, we should be fine. And put some bigger ones in. Um, big one there. In fact, I'm going to take that out because that is going to help them climb out. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put this on the back, I think. And then... They are somewhat expensive, the rocks are like $20 each, which seems kind of expensive for a rock, but to be honest, I don't often buy rocks, so maybe that is an absolute bargain, and I am just really ignorant about the price of rocks. Um, I will stay here forever though, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to stop, and I'm going to flatten this terrain out here, so they can actually get down, because it's a bit of a ridiculous slope. Okay, that's still a bit of a ridiculous slope. Let's just push you in slightly. Oh, no, let's bring you up then. A little bit more. There we go. Down they go. Just move this rock in very slightly. Rotate it round. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Okay, that should be, as long as we can move this down now. So this just needs to come down a bit more, I think. And then that should be a good enough wall for us. And smooth it out of the sides. Right, we need to buy them. I didn't even think about that. We need to go buy our animals. So, resettle filters, B-A-I-R, there it is. Uh, ooh, only some males, and not amazing ones at that. Okay, that's okay, let's play. See if we get any new ones in a bit. Um, might just get this one, the most expensive. Yeah, let's go with you, and we'll get you a nice female when we can. Center zoo. Put in there. Get you a friend. Because we need to, this is a it's a breeding program zoo, really, isn't it? When you think about it. It's all a conservation zoo. We're just aiming to to get some more of these little little guys back in the wild. I quite like this, the little hills. I have no idea if that's what the habitat would normally be like, but I kinda like the two hills approach. And again, I'm going to put loads of rocks on the outside. So it will, if you can imagine what this looks like, just, just imagine I, like 
with this. If I just copied that round. Can you imagine this? Yeah, you see? I'm not going to do it yet, but it's going to go around. Um, I'm not sure whether to do that on camera or off camera. I'm going to try and do everything on camera, so I might just, even if I just speed it up and do it very quickly one episode, I might just do that. Because um, I do want you guys to see everything. I hate when people do like let's plays at this and, and, and they like just jump forward and I'm like, wait, wait, what did you do? I want to see that. So my aim is to kind of go through it all and show you guys every step. So uh, we just had some vet research, which is great. Um, we are going to carry on to continue to the next one. I don't think we'll have got anything. Let's just check the habitat to make sure. Giant otter. Yes. Oh, we did. We got some. Oh, I hate these. <laughs> oh, no. It's just cardboard boxes. They look so ugly. So I'm going to refrain until we get some new enrichment and then I'll put that enrichment in because that'll be good. Um, hopefully our mechanics cracking through this as well. Oh, it's about halfway through. About halfway through. That's OK. We can live with that. Um, and then is our he is in here under quarantine. Um, Oh, and this needs mechanic requested. So this has been vandalized. This is the kind of thing where like, if you don't have security guards, they can vandalize your stuff, but it's not a major problem for us right now. Oh, he's past quarantine. I'm not even going to attempt his name. Um, I genuinely can't. What's our keeper called again? Is it Stan? Hello. Stan. Oh, the inspector's arrived. Well, it's a bit of a scary person. Look at her. She eats people like us for breakfast. Like she's coming on a good day. I mean, you came the other day, it was like a thunderstorm. So look at that. That's pretty beautiful. We're winning the uh, the old scenery, aren't we? Oh, don't don't mind that hooded young, that hooded youth. Just push him out of the way. It's fine. You're bigger than him. No, that's not that's not good advice for people. Oh look, they got uh the, the cow on the t-shirt. That's like one of the drinks. That's really good, the brand. <laughs> oh no, ugly, ugly, ugly stealth buildings. Apparently they're fine with it. As long as they don't have to be within like three meters of it, they don't mind looking at it. Um so they're gonna go around and they're gonna basically check out all the elements. And before they do that, I should probably just check that they can't escape before we have a tapir just running around our uh Oh, zoo. <laughs> that wouldn't be good, would it? I've done that before. Shout out to the last zoo. Okay, they can get out. It's here. They can get out. Oh, all of that. Oh, I've done a terrible job. Terrible, terrible job. It's because I don't want it to be too deep. Like, I feel bad about putting them in. Like, with massive sides on it. I don't know why. It's a really weird thing. <laughs> and also, I don't want to dig too much because I'm trying to, trying to conserve how much we dig. Right, there we go. That should be enough though. Much, much deeper habitat. Hopefully it's a big enough area for them. I didn't actually check their area requirements, which is a massive no-go. Like you always have to do that um, because otherwise you end up building a habitat and then realizing at the end, oh no, it doesn't fit. Um, oh, we're, we're well fine here though. Don't worry. Um, they do need some swimming area, so that's fine. We can put that in. And it needs to be, well, it can be anywhere, really. It'll be within range. That's quite a lot of swimming area. I might just instead um, portion off a little piece of this over here. In fact, I'm going to undo twice because I like it looking like this more. Um, uh, what am I doing? Like that. I don't know why I built those little bridges. I'm just going to undo. I'm trying to make a little area for the water. Um, I think I'm going to have to do that more subtly though. No. Because I've kind of built this trench the whole way around the outside. So give me one second to figure this out. We just need a little area. We could even put it in the middle here. Um, kind of hollow out this. I quite like the idea, actually. No. Uh, let's pull it up. Push it in here. 
turn the intensity up a little bit. Doesn't take quite so long to do this. Right. Oh, that was too much. Pull up here. No. It's just very little. I, don't, I like the idea that they can swim. There we go. That's not too bad. We can uh, push this back down. Smooth it all out. I need a little bit of swimming area. Oh, they've been moved just because we messed around with the floor under their feet, probably. Um, they're definitely fine with that. They've got more than enough swimming area there. It's just like a little pool for them to swim in. It's quite cute. Um, can they access it? They can. They can definitely get in there. And they can get out the other side. So they're, they're perfect. And they can't escape. So this is literally, this is exactly what we want. Okay, let's make sure it's the right terrain type for them, though. They'd rather have uh, soil. Okay, that's doable. Well, let's make this whole water area a bit more. Well, to be honest, if it's going to be anything, this would be the area with long grass um, around, this, uh, around the water. And then perhaps the bottom here, we can have like a dirt track the whole way around the outside. Same with the walls. These can kind of be soily. Um, down in here. light soil thrown in you can just turn this down slightly like that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna blend them together a little bit with some, with some light and some heavy soil and they want a little bit more rock so let's put in some smooth rock um, on one side here a little bit of rock there. Um, I'm going to blend that in a bit more actually because it looks a bit weird otherwise. That's fine. That's kind of what they want. Oh, vet research is complete. Okay, we've done two for the otters now. So we've got another toy enrichment and a food enrichment. So I'm going to pause the game. Let's just have a look and see what it is. Oh, we've got some stuff. Block of frozen fish. That's disgusting, but that is going right in there. So let's put that down here, because that's a cool one for the people to see. And block of ice as well, sure. Let's put a block of ice in. Um, hopefully that'll help them a little bit. Uh, let's just look at them, see how they're doing. With their little babies. They are quite enjoying their habitat. They could do with a, little, a few more toys, but I think just for now, we're going to focus on the tapirs and do a bit of research on them so we can get some enrichment and stuff for them. Let's see what we've got as it stands. Uh, it's B, isn't it? There you go. Oh, it's the same stuff. That's great. We can basically copy what we're using. Um, put a sprinkler in, small ball in, colorful ball over here. And they've got large barrel feeder. So that's great. That's, that's some food enrichment already. Um, and some herb scent markers. Okay, let's just put some herbs down here. Some interesting smells for them and see how they're feeling about all of that. They love it. They absolutely love it. They need some more hard shelter though. And for these guys, I'm tempted to put a little rock shelter in down the back over here where we've kind of built this rock area. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna do it like this. Where's the flat one? Um, so we're not, I'm just gonna make basically like a little tunnel walkway that's gonna act as a shelter also for them. So it's going to have that high, I think the roof could be that high. I'm going to vary the height of these slightly and use the same rock. Because it is being rotated as well, so it should be fine. Um, and then nice big one on that side. And then I'm going to use a different big one. Just joining it up. Basically, it just gives me a little cave area, which I quite like. I'm going to move that one back a little bit and up. Need to make sure they can walk through it too, but we'll obviously do that and we'll make adjustments where we need to at the end. Um, we 
won't just leave it as it is. And we'll, and we'll spice up the roof a bit. Let's let's make it a little bit nicer looking. So let's break it up, put some extra rocks on. Um, not really tall ones. I'm looking for some smaller ones, really. Um, some of these. Where's the long one? That'll go nicely. As long as it looks like one big structure, we're kind of okay. Which I think it does. Honestly, the more you add, like the more rocks you add, the more it just looks like one thing. Um, but yeah, if we build this big old rock cave, or cave, as they're also known, <laughs> then we should be good. They should be happy. Um, one more rock here. And I might just even it out a little bit. Let's just push in here. Make it a little bit wider for them. That's a bit nicer, isn't it? Smooth it out. No, no, no. Keep it nice, nice like that. And maybe we'll have some, some soil under here. Let's play. They, they love it. They love it. Right, let's just check habitat. Can they get in there? They can go all the way through. They can't quite go all the way through. This is what I wanted to just check, basically. But if we make it more accessible like that, then they definitely can. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's do it again. Oh, they've still not got a massive root. It's maybe because it's too... Recalculating. There we go. That's better. That's better. They can climb right through there now. Um, and I'm going to just continue. Oh, I'm going to pause because we've got a few things to look at. I'm just going to continue the rocks down here into the water because that looks a lot more natural. And what's nice. No, we're not going to do that. I was going to say we could put a little water feature in, but that would just look so unrealistic. Like if we had a little waterfall coming out of here. Um, but it is also the cave. But, you know, that is. Now, you know what, we might. I think we've already got the waterfall pieces. Let's let's just make it cute. It's not it's not a realistic habitat, but that's that's kind of the point where, you know, we're making we're recreating an environment for them, but it doesn't mean that everything has to actually be a thing, you know, like we can make something that looks like a waterfall, but it actually doubles as a as some bedding for them. That's actually just quite cool. OK, let's we're doing it. We're doing it right. Where where do I need to go? I think it's in special effects. Yes. So if you've got the aquatic pack, uh, if you don't have the aquatic pack, there are waterfall effects. You just have to do them far more manually. And I do not want to do that right now. But if you've got the aquatic pack and we've already researched that from our uh, previous franchise zoo, uh, we can just put in waterfalls like this, which is so much easier to place. I'm going to put one there and one above it slightly smaller like that and then I'm just going to keep building and it's going to look so weird and you're going to be like what is he building until it's done <laughs> and then hopefully it'll look quite nice um, just going to put some more rocks on uh, because we basically want all of this to be covered all of these like uh, line, you, see, you know what I mean? The lines there, we want those to all be covered. So, as long as we've got those covered, we're fine. Oh, I don't actually like that one. I'm going to delete that. Okay, almost done, almost done. And then do you want another little rock in there to break it up? Just to make it look a bit more realistic. Had some cladding ones like that. And just raise that up a bit. Let's just add, sorry, I, when, I want to do the big reveal at the end. No, 
No, I do prefer that in actually. Okay, I'm going to put that back. Like it like there. And then one more tiny piece of cladding rock maybe. Just a normal rock. No, that was fine. It's going to leave it like that. Right. You ready? Then if we play, look how beautiful that is. Look, that, I want to swim in there now. So we've made all of this for them. And it's actually also a little cave for them. How great is that? Okay, <laughs> so environment, they need some plants. Uh, we're gonna go all of these. Take off, oh no, tropicals there from these areas and let's go into plants. Again, I'm not gonna put any lilies in because there's such a small amount of room, but we can put in a lot of the same plants as we just did, which is amazing. Um, I'm just gonna put in some banana palms. Ooh, I like these, African oil. Oh, it's the same ones as before. Had exactly the same reaction both times. You can tell I genuinely like them. <laughs> Um, putting more of them around where the water area is because that's kind of where they'd predominantly want to grow. I'm not going to put any of these weird ones. Oh, you know what? I might just to add some continuity among them, but not loads. And we could put some mangroves in here just to have some of these roots come out. Um, Got to just be careful though because they can look a bit weird. Quite like them though. And then got some classic coconut palms. Um, are they in? Yeah, they're in the ground properly. Last time they didn't go in properly, which is why, yeah, like that one is just kind of levitating, which I don't like. Um, I'm gonna move that off so it's not on the herbs. Put that there. See how much they actually want. Uh, oh, way more. They want way more. So let's like sunflowers. Oh my goodness, that's cute. I don't know if I actually want to put them in. Might look a bit weird. Um, so many plants that we can put in now. Let's try and decide which ones to use. Is the problem because I don't want to put every plant in. Might just add some of these lower level plants in. See, the problem is with plants, you can just get very like lost in it and just keep placing plants for a very long time, much like rocks. And I don't want to do that because I know that's not the most interesting to watch either. Um, but I do want them to look attractive. Like I want the habitats to look nice. So I'm just going to do a little bit of planting, um, but not a crazy amount. Ooh, that's a big tree. Um, some of these bushes might be nice. Put some of these in. some there, put some in the rocks, put some up here. Um, it's actually a really nice trick too to put some plants in the rocks like this. Um, it can make the rocks really kind of come alive a bit. I mean, you just got to kind of be careful because like this is going to be a really high profile area. So if I put too much in, it's going to look a bit weird. But as long as, oh, that kept getting bigger. <laughs> Uh, as long as it's relatively like tasteful, um, it looks it looks quite nice. Like just poking out like that, and there. Um, so yeah, we'll just have them kind of sticking out of the rocks in places. And just push that down very slightly. Okay, and it's not sticking out anywhere, which I like. Um, let's keep on placing. What are we going to go next? I'm trying to think. Let's maybe we'll just do some more century plants. Pretty standard plants, aren't they? Um, put a few of these in. Um, what else? 
us. I'm not going to put the... Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll put the ping one. So we've got a bit of continuity across them both. Still, let's... Put even more. Let's put them in. Um, right, they're going there. Some more. Put some single ones in. That's huge. It's rhubarb. Wow, I didn't even realize that was rhubarb. I didn't read it properly before. That's quite cool. Um, well, the ones we've had already, just going to double up on them, put a few more of those in, and then we'll probably call that a day on the old planting. Um, I'm just going to move them up slightly. There we go. Uh, bracken, that's another one actually looks quite nice when you poke it out like that. Yeah, but I quite like this one too. It's like, a, it's a more soft plant, which is quite nice. Um, what was it called? I'm just saying it wasn't bramble. <laughs> that's not a nice soft plant. Um, oh, these are quite cute, the flowers. Oh, it was this. Scayolva. Yeah, that's cute though. I like that. Right, got some there. I think we're probably good on that front. That looks quite pretty now. Don't want to overdo it and it just look like way too full. Uh, he says that going back in to place like another tree. I think we're going to have another Brazil nut tree over here. I'm going to put one here. And then one over here. it just adds some like magnitude to the place and it makes them much more happy with their coverage gives them some shelter as well you know it gives them from uh, sunshade as well so they're not struggling because we don't we don't want them to get to get you know baked under the sun do we could put in some reeds just the small amount of reeds right that is it. That's one burn. That's enough. <laughs> I've actually done now. Right. Here we go. We've got no other. Should we see if there are any more now? Come on. Oh, there are. There are. Okay. Let's pause it. Um, which one's the best? I mean, their overall ratings. This this one is looking... No, this one is looking the best. Um, maybe we should go for this one. This one's a bit younger. I think our male was nine. Let's get this one. I'm going to send to quarantine and we will add her into this habitat too. And again, guys, we need some names for everyone. So if you can comment down below what names you want the animals to be, what names you want our staff to be, I'm more than happy to go through and we can get some personalized naming in here. Look at our staff. They're working hard. I might actually hire another vendor um, as play just because we want our, um, our uh, like vending stuff to just carry on anyway without interruption. So having four people lets them rotate a little bit easier. And I train them up. I train everyone up. And they're handling their workloads well. These guys got a really high workload. So that's what we're gonna do. And we could actually add something to our, can make our staff room have perks. We could give them staff healthcare. Um, we can probably manage that. Yeah, we can definitely manage that. Let's give staff healthcare because that's cute. And it means that they're all more resilient against being overworked as well. So that's good. Everyone wins. Go just treat your employees well, people. Come on. It's not that hard. And then everyone has a good time. We've actually got a decent amount of money too. So maybe once we get these uh, conservation things in, we can start... Um, uh, building these rocks around. I forgot what I was going to say. We've also got some awards, so let's... We've adopted two different habitat species, and we have at least 300 guests in the park. So that's great. Uh, we need some souvenirs. We haven't got any souvenirs yet, so maybe one of the next things we can do is place a souvenir shop too. Um, haven't got any of those. So that would be like... Um, where are they? Looney Bloons would be the one we've got. Um, so we could put that in somewhere. 
The only thing we've got to think about is the queues. I haven't really worried about the queues here too because there's such a lot of space in here. But um, we could always set them back and have a longer queue into it. Um, let's just check up on our mechanic. Oh, it's almost done. She's almost done. Um, Janna is almost done. Um, so when she's done that, we'll be able to make everything a little bit nicer. And again, I think I'm going to get them on the um, the New World theme as well. We do need to just edit our work zone to add in. I'm going to make this giant otters and birds to peers. Um, and we're going to add in this work zone too. And now everyone should be able to do that too. I'm going to make the zoo include this too. And guest facilities unchanged. And obviously we need to put in our habitat boards. So let's whack one here. Let's whack one here. I'm assuming this is all just within the power range. Oh, none of it's in the power range. Oh, okay, that's not the best. Um, in that case, I'm going to put them in, but we're just going to know that they're not going to work right now. And we're not going to get as big a donations as a result. And when we improve our power situation, that'll be when it all works. But for now, they're just not working. Um, you can also put this range on anything you want. As long as it doesn't overlap, the uh, education speaker range can be on whatever you want. I just quite like 12 as a number because once it gets beyond that, it's like it's tends to get in the way so just as a general rule i just put it on something like 12 and then it's quite a good good range without covering everything up but yeah this is pretty cute let's check if uh she is done she's not quite done with her quarantine yet basically if something was found there they just immediately treat her rather than bringing her into the habitat and then she infects the other one and then we've taken them both to uh the vet because they're both really sick it's just you just quarantine because you don't know where they've come from they've obviously been adopted or you know maybe they've taken from another zoo where they might have been ill or they've been rescued from poach well, not poachers but you know what i mean rescued from people who have them in captivity or something the conservation theme! We finally got the conservation theme. Right, I'm going to put them straight on to the New World theme. Because the next one I want. But we've unlocked so many things now. So in our construction pieces, we can just filter by content pack, conservation pack. And look, we've got 3D printed wall arch squares. Who doesn't want one of those? So we've got loads of stuff here we can make some really cool buildings out of, which we will do very soon i'm trying to think what i want to do next but we can do it very soon oh she's here she's here look uh so pretty uh that's it <laughs> look at her go yeah love it absolutely love it um <laughs> So we, we do actually need to put some donation bins in too, because I've done the cardinal sin of forgetting to put the donation bins in. I'm going to put one there, and then one here, and one here. That should be enough. Keep our income coming up. At the minute, people are just watching from here. So don't blame them. I'm just going to upgrade this path to have the uh oh can do that one oh that was night time <laughs> i'm just gonna put this on um for the whole thing now just so we're covered because i i like the idea that they can't get through you know they can't just run off and then this is the staff area um and the staff know not to jump in there but again when we put rocks in we'll cover this off which we may do next, but again, I will speed lapse that if I'm going to do that. I don't want you to sit and watch me place 100 rocks. Um, and we've got level two. Okay, so we've got some enrichment. Let's just quickly look at this. Um, what am I doing? Enrichment. <laughs> Robert Duck. Oh, yeah, we got to do that. Oh, I'm not going to put it there, though. I'm going to put it on the bottom of the water. I turn off a line to water. There we go. Look at that. That's adorable. I think we had all of these before. 
So I'm not going to place anything else in. But it's nice that we got something. We will also have to build in something for our guests as like some formal, like informal shelter. So they don't always have to use the umbrellas that we sell. <laughs> but you know, good that we sell umbrellas. I think some of them bring their own umbrellas, but you know, we also sell them for a little bit of money. Um, zoo ticket price is good. Maybe we should put this up again. Let's do six and three. I quite like having children be half price just because, you know, we should be teaching kids about animals and how we can conserve the environment, things like that. So it's important that they're there for a bit cheaper. Encourage the parents to take them. Okay, well, I think the next thing we're going to do is to improve our buildings so that we have some slightly more aesthetic buildings uh, for the rest of our zoo. 